marketing, and also a list of terms and words you'll need to learn in order to become involved in affiliate marketing. Please remember to like and subscribe, and in the comments, also leave some information about any future content you'd like to see or future programs you'd like me to review. So let's get started. Affiliate marketing, getting started, including a new language to learn. Two takeaways from this presentation, dictionary of words and terms associated with affiliate marketing and helpful hints and tips when starting in affiliate marketing. First, what is affiliate marketing? Every product or service wants to reach and hopefully sell to as many customers as possible. To do this, they need to advertise. And part of their advertising budget is an affiliate program. To become involved in affiliate marketing, you need to decide first on what product or service you want to go ahead and promote, contact that product or service to join their affiliate program, and when you join their affiliate program, you'll get a unique link which you'll use to promote their product. And when people purchase, click on that link to purchase that product or service, you will get credit and you will get a commission. Dictionary of terms used in affiliate marketing. Affiliate program. There are actually two things to know about affiliate programs. Some are affiliate programs and some are affiliate networks. This is when you're joining up directly either with a retailer to into their affiliate program or joining an affiliate network that promotes lots of programs or services. You need to join either a program or a network to get your affiliate link. And that's the next term on our list. An affiliate link is literally a unique link, a URL address that carries a cookie so that every time someone clicks on your link, you get credit. And if they make a purchase, you'll also get paid a commission. Publisher. A publisher is the person that is creating the content to advertise a product or service using a unique link. If you're watching this presentation, you're going to be the publisher getting involved in affiliate marketing. Traffic not the kind you sit in when going to work or trying to get your jobs done. In this case, traffic is based on the number of people you get to visit your website or to click on your link. As an affiliate marketer or a publisher, you are always trying to figure out new ways to generate traffic, to generate people who are going to be using your link so that you can get paid. How do you decide on a product or service to promote? This is what we call your niche. What is your specialization? Trust me, you are gonna find it hard to narrow it down. But the thing I always say to start with is an interest or a hobby you're already involved in, something that you're passionate about. You can literally promote anything from digital courses to fitness to health and beauty. You are gonna have a hard time deciding what to promote. So go ahead and do your research, figure out what kind of quality products are out there, how easy are they to promote, what is the commission rate, and narrow down what it is you want to specialize in. And this will help you to build your brand and also help you gain trust with the people who are buying from you. When it comes to promoting a product or a service, you need to know the USP the unique selling proposition, or the unique selling point. This is the one thing that distinguishes it from all the other competition out there. To market or sell a product or service, you have to understand the USP and be able to communicate that to your potential customers. The value proposition. This is the clear benefit of the customer of buying this product. It's directly related to the USP. Unless you know what the USP and the value proposition is, you will not get people to go ahead and click on your link. Conversion rate. This is the rate at which a person takes the action you want them to. You want them to click on the link. You want them to subscribe to your mailing list. What is the rate at which people are doing this after they read some kind of communication from you or watch one of your videos. CTA, 
also known as the call to action. When you're persuading someone to do something, you need to give them very clear and concise instructions. Click on this link, submit your email address. You must have a call to action that people need to follow. Open rate, similar to the conversion rate. This is the number of people that open an email versus the number of emails that are actually sent. CTR, your click-through rate. This is the rate at which someone actually clicks on links, looks through your website, looks through your email, do they get all the way to the end? Now, here I don't want to disappoint you, but people are not going to read all the way through to the end of the email. <laughs> You're going to spend hours maybe trying to craft the perfect wording. Do not be disappointed when this happens. It's actually better if they don't click all the way down to the bottom. You want them to take a call to action much more quickly. An A-B test. As you become more experienced with affiliate marketing, you're gonna to start to test different messages to see how they work. Most commonly, people will change the subject line. They will send a certain number of emails with one subject line to group A, and a certain number of emails with a different subject line to group B, and then compare the open rate and the click-through rate to figure out which message worked better. Multivariate test. This is different from an A-B test because in this kind of test, you're gonna change multiple things about the communication, hence multivariate. So you may change the subject line, you might change some of the wording, you may change some of the images. What's different about this test is that because you're changing so many things, it's gonna be hard to narrow down what made the click-through rate or the conversion rate higher. So I don't recommend you use a multivariate test to start with. Use an A-B test when testing. Upsell. For every product or service that you promote, you wanna to look to see whether or not there is something else that can be sold with that initial product or service, and that's called the upsell. For example, if you have someone go onto the Amazon website and buy a camera, maybe they can also buy a tripod that works with that camera. That would be the upsell. If there's a digital course that you're offering, maybe there's another digital course that's supplemented, give people more information. That would be considered the upsell. Something to look out for when you're looking at your niche or what kind of product or services you wanna go ahead and promote. Besides learning new tools, terms, you also wanna use new tools. Some tools that are used in affiliate marketing is SEO, search engine optimization. Improving your search ranking of your website or your blog on Google. How do you get to that front page? when people search for something. This is something you're going to have to learn. So if you're a data phobe, I'm sorry, you're gonna to have to get over it. <laughs> you will need to learn search engine optimization in order to research what kind of products or services you wanna promote, and also how much competition is out there when writing a blog about that product or service. A funnel. Funnel is a series of emails that lead a person down a specific path to a CTA. You are literally taking your potential customers down a journey to where they go ahead and hopefully follow your call to action to click on the ink link or submit their email address. This is a way that as you build up your mailing list, you'll be able to send automated communications to people on a regular basis to keep them informed about the products and services that you're promoting. Chat GPT, I don't think you can get away from this. <laughs> it is just becoming more and more a part of our lives. And Chat GPT is a tool for you to use, not rely on. The way that you can use Chat GPT in affiliate marketing, it can create a content map for you. It can help you with search engine optimization. It can also write your articles. However, if you're gonna use ChatGPT to write your articles or maybe a YouTube script like this one, then please make sure you also get a program that checks it for grammar, for spelling, and for plagiarism. Remember, 
ChatGPT is a tool. It'll help you work faster, but you cannot totally rely on it. How do you get a start in affiliate marketing? So I would suggest you find a niche you want to promote. Start with your interests, your hobbies, stores that you already shop at, like Amazon, to decide what types of programs you want to create. And use tools like SEO and ChatGPT to help you narrow down that search and what your niche is going to be. Apply to become part of an affiliate program or an affiliate network. Here's a helpful hint. The two easiest programs to become a part of are Amazon and ClickBank. Other programs will require that you provide a link to your website, information about your mailing list, information about how you're gonna promote their products, and they will be a waiting period while they look at the information you've submitted. You will see YouTube videos of affiliate marketers ranking their top 10 affiliate programs to join, but something they're probably not telling you on those videos is you will not get accepted to every program. You're gonna get a bit of rejection until you build up your brand, until you create a website, until you have a bit of a mailing list. So please don't be discouraged by this. Start with ClickBank and start with Amazon. Now, here's more information about those two programs. The Amazon program, you will find literally anything you wanna go ahead and promote. I think the only things they don't sell right now are houses and cars. <laughs> but everything else is there. So go ahead, apply to their program. It's a very simple process. However, your link will only be valid for 24 hours. So you have got to also be ready to start promoting as soon as you get their link. The other drawback of using Amazon is that they change their commissions regularly and they have a very low commission rate compared to other programs or networks that are out there for affiliate marketing. The other most common affiliate program to join or really affiliate network to join is ClickBank. ClickBank has a variety of products and services. However, some of them are of low quality. So please make sure to research, research, research. You wanna make sure that what you're selling is something that aligns with your brand and something you will be proud of something you have knowledge with, and also something you can validate with outside reviews like Amazon or Trustpilot. Some other popular affiliate programs are PartnerSize, ShareASale, CJ Affiliate, AWIN, and FlexOffers. The next thing you want to start doing is creating some content. After all, this is how you're going to promote the products or services, and how you're going to drive that all-important traffic onto your website, onto your blog, and onto your email list. In your content, you'll need to include the USP and the value proposition that gives people a reason that the product or service you're promoting will solve their problem. Content is creating by posting information on a website, publishing a blog, doing a video like this one on YouTube, or shorter videos on TikTok or Clapper, posting on Instagram, or going onto Facebook. There's also paid advertising, and I don't suggest you start with this, but paid ads is a way that people do go ahead and promote their links and their fact that they are an affiliate marketer. Create and manage a website. If you want affiliate marketing to be your long-term business, you are going to have to get a website. And websites are very easy to create right now. I would recommend that you use Hostinger, WordPress, and Elementor. Elementor is a very easy program that works along with WordPress that makes it very simple for you to figure out how to go ahead and create your website and also to manage your website. I would definitely recommend that you know how to manage your website so that you can make changes based on products or services you decide to offer. You want to be able to update it very quickly and easily and not rely on somebody else to do this for you. Finally, get organized. If this is a side hustle or a long-term business, you still need to have some organization to your business. 
you want to know when are you going to perform the research about the products or services you want to promote? When are you going to create content? How often are you going to upload videos or create blogs? How often will you go ahead and pay, go for paid ads if that's the route you decide to take? Either way, you will need to get a calendar together, you will need to get organized, and you will need to figure out all of these elements of your business in order for it to be successful. Affiliate marketing is a business, and the amount of income you earn will be directly related to the amount of time and effort you invest in your business. It's an easy business to start. The industry is continually growing, literally worth billions, so there's enough to go around, and can be done by anyone with the willingness to invest the time to learn and run a business. Some of the pros of affiliate marketing is that it can be done from anywhere with an internet connection. All the equipment you need is a smartphone and a laptop. Joining affiliate programs is free, and promotion on social media platforms is free. Free is my favorite F word. <laughs> so that's why I say you don't have to start with paid ads and you should never pay to join an affiliate program. There are a lot of affiliate marketing courses available. I have a link below to my mentor, Jonathan Montoya's course. Jonathan Montoya left his electrical engineering job and now teaches other people how to leave their full-time jobs and earn a living in affiliate marketing. This is an affiliate link, so I will receive a commission when you watch the 72-hour challenge video. But can you afford not to watch this video? Please also go to my website to subscribe to my email list and to get more updates related to affiliate marketing and other ways to attain financial and time freedom. Remember, transformation is possible, one step at a time. Thanks again for watching this presentation. And I hope to see you again.